Hello. In this video, we are talking about our final year project. Through this project, we aim to classify the data packets sent over the internet by the application from which it was generated and by the type of data. This classification data can be used by internet providers, that is ISP, to better quality deliver of services. For this project, the proposed system consists of recap files and then reprocessing. Then the next step is neural network model and the fine output labeled packet. The PCAP and PCAP PNG files are data files created by a packet analyzer like Wireshark during the process of packet capturing. This process is also called packet sniffing. Next comes the data set. For our project, we have used ISCX VPN non VPN traffic data set which consists of captured traffic of different applications in PCAP and PCAP PNG format files. Wireshark Wireshark is a packet capturing software which saves the files as PCAP files. Wireshark has a rich feature set which includes the following. Deep inspection of hundreds of protocols with more being added all the time. Live capture and offline analysis. Standard 3 pane packet browser. The main next step is preprocessing. In the preprocessing stage, the main thing that happens is the removal of unwanted files that get captured through the Wireshark. The main unwanted files are the handshaking packets and other files. Since we are capturing these packets in data link layer, there will be either header. This header is also removed from each packet. Then we have to mask the IP address to prevent pattern recognition through IP address. While considering the transporting layer TCP and UDP, they are different in byte length. So, through pre-processing, we do zero padding if the layer is UDP and convert it to 20 bytes. The total length of all packets will be padded and set as 1500 bytes. Finally, the packets are normalized. The implementation in SCAPI. We have used SCAPI as the main tool to modify packets in the pre-processing stage. The result that we got from pre-processing is shown. Neural network model that we have proposed is a series of algorithms that endeavors to recognize underlying relationships in a set of data through a process that mimics the way the human brain operates. The neural network model is a multi-classification model. This model predicts kind of traffic application VPN or non-VPN. We have used convolution neural network and recurrent neural network in the model. Model detects patterns out from data packets and predicts the new packets into different classes. Talking about the architecture, the neural network model was created using Keras TensorFlow. It includes multiple layers including embedding, one-dimensional convolution, batch normalization, max pooling, directional GRU, and dense. The model input is an embedding layer. It requires that the input data be integer encoded so that each word is represented by a unique integer. The embedding layer is initialized with random weights and will learn an embedding for all of the words in the training data set. Output is then fed into four blocks of one-dimensional convolution followed by batch normalization and max pooling layers. A typical normalization process consists of scaling numerical data found to be on scale from 0 to 1 and a typical standardization process consists of subtracting the mean of data set from each data point and then dividing that difference by the data set's standard deviation. Max pooling is a convolution process where the kernel extracts the maximum value of the area it convolved. We used Google Colab platform to implement this model, TensorFlow library with Keras as backend API to realize the model. The implementation was like shuffle and split a dataset as 80% for training, 10% for validation and 10% for testing. The results that we have obtained a model with a testing accuracy of 98.25% and a loss of 2.87%. To evaluate the performance of the implemented neural network model, different matrices were used including confusion matrix, precision, recall, etc. The following confusion matrices are traffic characterization, application identification, and VPN and non-VPN differentiation. The diagonal elements of these matrices shows the output. Our model performed well for a training data and showed an average accuracy greater than 90% in each category. When it comes to future scope, 
a software defined wide area network that is hd wan combining proposed model with hd wan system can be developed for specific applications to provide different services like improving market forecast and even cyber security